From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. You want to go where to buy a new refrigerator? <coughs> Steve's A to Z Appliance in Cottonwood? In Cottonwood? <coughs> Just a 10 minute drive. And they'll save us money. New and used, honest, reliable, factory trained repair service and parts? And they'll save us money. And dispose of this thing? We gotta make the short drive to Steve's A to Z. Thanks, son. Steve's A to Z Appliance, front and main streets in Cottonwood. Drive a little, save a lot. Good morning, everyone. For those of you who are new to Weather NorCal, number one, welcome. Number two, you may or may not be aware of the fact that I've got a free Weather NorCal app. Go to your app store and your iPhone, search for Weather NorCal, download the app for free. Check it out. I think you're going to like it. Of course, you've got the same thing for Android. Of course, you just need to go to the Google Play Store and search for Weather NorCal. All right, do have some flood alerts we need to tell you about. There is mainly for the Humboldt Bay. It's until about noon today. We've got high astronomical ties, which are, is going to lead for some of the typical low-lying areas to see flooding along parts of the coast. So just be aware of that as we go through the day today. Looking at our headlines, we do have weaker winds for the rest of the week. Weaker winds for the rest of the week. That's a bit of a tongue twister. All right, so there you can see that's the, the main story, right? I mean, you think about the gusty winds we saw, especially Sunday night, even the gusty winds throughout the day yesterday, but the winds are finally dying down and no longer a factor. So a little breezy in some spots here, but again, nothing to the extent that we did see Sunday night. Cool and unsettled through Friday with snow levels, fairly low, but that being said, we're not gonna see a lot of snow in the forecast, and you'll see that here in a bit. But we have drier and warmer trend going into this weekend and possibly even into next week. So here's a look at our planner for today. I expect to see more sunshine this afternoon, especially for the valley. Uh, even Siskiyou Modoc County could see uh, a few, few more uh, breaks in the clouds throughout the afternoon as well. And the eastern mountains should be looking at dry conditions. Today, looking fairly dry for everyone, really. Just some clouds this morning for the coast, but maybe some clearing for the afternoon, not to mention for the inland areas. And that'll be the case as we take you off into Trinity County as well. All right, here's your satellite image here. The area of low pressure kind of breaking down, but the energy itself is kind of shifting to the south, losing some of that satellite imagery, unfortunately. There is the atmospheric river down to our south and east, so we don't have any more atmospheric rivers heading our way anytime soon, which as a result, we don't have a lot of rain in the forecast, not to mention snow. All right, so here's what it looks like today. You see how we're going to see some breaks in the clouds, especially for the valley. I think we're going to get to see, finally, some sunshine here uh, throughout the day today. Probably less sunshine for the mountains, but there will be some breaks in the clouds. So that's going to be the case here for today. Could we see a stray sprinkle or a stray um, snow flurry for some of the higher elevations? Looks like Futurecast is picking up on that. But really, for the most part, today is going to be a dry day for everyone. Now, we do have another system here. It's fairly weak. You can see here, it looks fairly strong once it hits the coast. So I think we're going to start the morning off tomorrow with some rain for Del Norte Humboldt County and some snow down to about 2,500 feet at its lowest. But look what happens as it moves eastward and down to the south and east. It just fizzles to no end, right? And we're looking at fairly dry conditions. Now, with that said... It's fairly strong on the coast, and since this path is moving down to the south and east, we could see some of those showers translate or make their way into the valley here uh, as we go into Wednesday around noon in the afternoon, and not to mention the snow flurries between 2,500 and 3,500 feet in the mountains. Again, is it going to be a lot? No. Could we even see a straight thunderstorm on Wednesday? Sure, but the chances, again, are all looking pretty slim as we go through the day on Wednesday. Now we go into your Thursday, and it looks like we're going to be looking at dry conditions to start the day on Thursday, and most likely dry conditions uh, through most of the day on Thursday afternoon as well. Look at the rainfall totals that are expected here. Again, that's what I was talking about. I mean, even for the coast, which is expected to see the bulk of that rain on Wednesday morning, yeah, it looks pretty good for Eureka, but not as much for Crescent City. So again, this is where the bulk of the rain will be on Wednesday morning. Anything else we see elsewhere is just going to be a trace to a few hundreds. All right, we take a look at the forecast snow totals. Same situation, although look at Futurecast picking up on the potential for maybe a trace mounts out towards Weaverville Hay Fork. And again, it's that Wednesday morning event that we could see the snow levels low enough to maybe see a bit of a mix for Weaverville Hay Fork, but I don't anticipate any accumulation. And even if we do see accumulation in the higher elevations to the east, 
it is going to be on the light side. And that's, of course, including as we go into your Thursday, although you can see it looks like it picks up a little bit more uh, as we go into Wednesday into Thursday. But uh, I think that might be overdoing it for Bernie, but you get the idea. Overall, just not much in the way of snow either. Let's take a look at the long range here. And there you can see, of course, as we go into Friday, maybe another week disturbance passing to our north, maybe some snow flurries. And, you know, the European forecast model, which this is the American, the European forecast model is more aggressive with this, bringing the potential maybe even for some showers for the valley. So I've included at least a chance for showers in the valley on Friday. Uh, and then, of course, as we go into Saturday, Sunday, look at that ridge of high pressure in place. It's a weak one, but it's strong enough to really keep most of the storms out of our region and should be dry through the weekend and quite possibly as we take you into early next week. And look at this. I know this is not promising, but one of the things we have to remember, and I reported this yesterday, is that most areas at this point for North, Northern California are above normal for the rainfall season, okay? 100% or higher, okay? So if we get a little bit of a break, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Now, do we wanna prolong the low normal period? No, we would like to see more rainfall. But as it stands right now, looking at the long range, I'm not seeing much in the way of rain heading away anytime soon. And on top of that, those temperatures are beginning to moderate a little bit, not as cool as they have. But at least we're going to be close to below normal to normal, especially for the Sierra. That's where we want to get that snowpack, right? So any, any precipitation we do head our way, which won't be a lot, at least it'll be in the form of snow for the higher elevations and that's what we want. We want that nice reserve so we can fill those lakes up as that snow melt goes into the lakes. All right, so take a look at our wave heights. You can see here as we take you through the afternoon today, of course, about 11 feet. They may drop a little bit here, but actually increasing just slightly, taking you into your Wednesday. So your marine forecast for your Tuesday, north winds at 15 to 20 knots, your waves to the north at 12 feet at 9 seconds, and from the west at 5 feet at 18 seconds. There's your sunrise and your sunset with a small craft advisory for today. All right, here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast with your temperatures upper 40s to about 50 for some of the warmer spots like Douglas City. Uh, there is that chance for showers and snow flurries on Wednesday, maybe a break on Thursday, then another chance on Friday. You get the idea. When you look at the seven day forecast, you're not seeing a lot of rain or snowflakes, right? That's because we just don't have much heading our way. Fairly dry conditions. Temperature about 53 degrees for Eureka as well as Blue Lake, 50 in Rio Del. And there's Shelter Cove with a high of about 52 degrees. Garberville, also 52. Look for a high of 54 for Gas Key, about 56 for Smith River, 53 in Crescent City, Orleans, about 54, and Hoopa, about 52 degrees. Here's your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, Fort Jones, 44. Out in Scott Valley, uh, there you can see 41 degrees in Etna, 44 for Gazelle, and there's Mount Shasta City with a high of about 44 degrees. And for Modoc County, looks like a high of about uh, 42 degrees for Fort Bidwell, 43 for Tule Lake, and Canby, about 41 degrees. In your Eastern Mountains, neighborhood forecast, 52 degrees in Shingletown, 38 out in Westwood, 40 in Doyle, and 52 degrees in Paradise. Here's your Valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by Haas Farms. Those temperatures should be right around 60, give or take, is what we're looking at here. I've got that chance for showers Wednesday. Another chance on Friday. Is it going to be a lot? Nope. Of course, you saw that at least through Wednesday, through Wednesday, excuse me, through Thursday morning. It's only going to be a few hundredths of an inch of rainfall with Wednesday's system. Friday is not going to bring us much, quite honestly, if anything. We'll kind of have to wait and see if that system actually makes its way and is strong enough to bring any rain on, on Friday for the valley. Otherwise, we do expect temperatures today around 60, 60 degrees for Bella Vista as well as Palisadro, and 56 degrees in Lakehead. So there's your seven-day outlook for Redding. Of course, that chance for showers tomorrow. Once again on Friday, drying out and warming up slightly. I mean, not a massive warm up, but I do expect to see temperatures around 60, give or take, through the weekend and early next week.